Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. Bronny James did an interview. This is the first interview that I've seen him do ever since the McDonald's, not McDonald's All-American game, Nike Hoop Summit in high school. He put that statement out of USC, but then that's it. But he just answered a whole bunch of questions. One about his dad and you know he said if you know, basically he's just trying to go to the nba contribute you know and he also said he ain't he don't have to be the the superstar player and he he talked about how a lot of people hate on him and you know and Bronny was something that you don't understand i get it it's not your fault people shouldn't be hating on you but one of the most popular players when he LeBron when he goes at he's going at players hyping you up talking about Bronny's better than uh, some of these guys you see on TV right now so that's where a lot of the hate comes from you know what I mean but you have an opportunity and people want to talk about his nepotism I don't care half the NBA is off nepotism you got you got a whole bunch of players that be in the NBA their brothers be in the NBA uh, you got or they being they be in the staff. It's like that in corporate America. Just we got we got to get past that. But you know he just he just he talked about a bunch of different things. Um, he said he works on he try, he working on all his game and he didn't really speak last year because his agency really told him not to. He just followed him and it doesn't matter what team he go to. It's really about the fit. And he did say that he uh, watches like a Drew Holiday now. And I noticed everybody was saying that that would be Bronny's um, thing. Now, also, I like how he plays defense. He trying. At least he ain't out there just standing around. And I do think that he is going to make an NBA team, the G League, at worst. And even what uh, Wojnarowski has said, if Bronny plays in the G League, Bronny's going to he's going to sell merchandise. He's going to put people in the seats. Which, that's what the NBA wants. They want the G League to be profitable too. You know what I mean? That's their minor league. So, of course, they want to get as many people there as they can. And you never know. The NBA might look at it like, look, just come to the G League. We'll have a G League draft for one year. But again, oh, I also got to see him. He did a scrimmage yesterday. I mean, he, you know, he was out there doing what he could. And I think that his value... Yes, because of his last name, but also because he has somewhat of flashes. Because Marcus Jordan had a last name, and Jeff Jordan had last names. And they were nowhere near considered NBA players. But he does have the talent. It's just going to take some time. He did say that he still don't know what his decision going to be. He also said that in the interview. Um, listen, if he come back to college, all eyes is on him. He might get a $10 million NIL deal. But yeah, um... You know, good to see Bronny finally start doing interviews, and we'll just have to see where it goes from there. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, and tell me what y'all think.